We are following breaking news this Friday afternoon here on CBS Sports HQ, where Georgia star linebacker Nicobe Dean has officially declared for the NFL draft. He posted a message to friends, family, all of his fans on social media. Dean potentially a top 10 pick in the draft. He started all 15 games for the Bulldogs. Finished the season with 72 total tackles, led the Bulldogs in tackles for loss with 10 and a half, and was second in the team in quarterback sacks with six. Taking a look at his player profile there, All-American first team. Also, we do want to mention the winner of the 2021 Butkus Award, the best linebacker in all of college football. Let's welcome in our draft expert, Ryan Wilson, here, who has Nicobe Dean going to the Jets at 10 in his latest mock draft. I'm sure he, he's bounced up and down around that number. But Nicobe Dean, Ryan, what do we need to know about him getting ready for the draft? Yeah, you mentioned the best linebacker in college football, arguably the best player on the best defense in college football. We saw them absolutely smother that Alabama offense that had very little chance, uh, Bryce Young anyway, in terms of having any opportunity to throw the football, uh, in large part because N'Kobe Dean was, his fa- was in his face for much of the evening, and that wasn't just a one-off. We saw N'Kobe Dean do that week in and week out through the season. He made huge strides from last season to this season. He was a great player last season. He has been otherworldly in 2021, and you mentioned I had him going 10th in that latest mock draft. I suspect he'll go somewhere in the 7 to 15 range, depending on team needs and how the board falls above him in terms, uh, particularly in terms of offensive players, offensive linemen and quarterbacks. And we'll see how that unfolds. But he is an absolute special talent, not only on the field. He's a mechanical engineer at Georgia, smart as a whip. All his coaches from college to high school have only positive things to say about him. And I think uh, that will be something that NFL teams be looking for as well. Great leader, incredibly smart, can get the defense organized. And, oh, by the way, he is one of the most athletic linebackers, uh, not only in this draft class, but potentially to be in the NFL. And we've seen a run on these guys in recent years. Go back to Roquan Smith, the former Georgia player, who's pretty big right now, but coming out of Georgia, he was the same height and weight, 6'1", uh, about 225. And we've seen those sort of players, Patrick Queen, Uh, I wouldn't say Michael Parsons because Michael Parsons has been special as an edge rusher, but that's the type of athleticism you're getting in the Kobe Dean. And whether he goes 7th or 15th, wherever he lands, he feels like a day one starter, Amanda. You talk about that athleticism, and part of the reason you have him going to the Jets, I was reading your latest mock draft, by the way, CBSSports.com. You say he plays with type of urgency and physicality that's been lacking in this Jets defense. So whatever team he does land on, I mean, what sort of impact is he going to make when he gets there? He's a terror coming downhill in terms of stopping the run. He's unbelievably athletic, so his ability to drop into coverage and cover those zone areas and the intermediate routes, run with tight ends, run with running backs, he can do that all day, and he's a sideline-to-sideline guy. He runs like a a cornerback, uh, and he might end up – being one of the fastest guys on the field uh, when he takes uh, his spot in in the NFL. But there are plenty of teams outside the Jets that could be in the market for someone like his talents. I mean, the the Steelers make some sense. They traded up for Devin Bush just a few years ago. That hasn't worked out. He had an ACL injury. That's the type of playmaker they're looking for in the middle of the field. It would be a surprising pick in the middle of the first round, but it would be something that would fill a huge need. And there are going to be teams, several teams, uh, around that range that will be looking for N'Kobe Dean, another name to keep an eye out. If uh, you're not, uh, if Nicobe Dean's gone, is Devin Lloyd. Right now, Nicobe Dean's my linebacker one. Devin Lloyd out of Utah is my linebacker two. And we'll see what happens in the pre-draft process because that's when things get fun. We can see these guys run at the combine, figure out how strong they are, see what they do in the old shorts Olympics there. But uh, this is unsurprising news uh, for Nicobe Dean, who was one of the best players in college football. And he now officially joins two other teammates, uh, Louis Seen and Zamir White out of Georgia, who have officially declared, I suspect there'll be more names coming out of Georgia on uh, a defense, by the way, that, that might be uh, full of NFL caliber players by the time it's all said and done. Ryan, what do you bet, though, when he gets on stage there and he, he has the hat that he, he's got to double check what hat that he's putting on his head because he accidentally put an Alabama one on uh, at the national championship, as we all saw. So that way you can also remember that is who Nicobe Dean is as well. But again, your linebacker, number one, uh, they're declaring officially for the NFL draft. Ryan Wilson, we appreciate it. And for more from Ryan Wilson, all of the super friends of the Pick 6 podcast, Will Brinson and team, John Breach, make sure to download and follow. Uh, we talked to Will Brinson yesterday here on HQ, and he said, look, well, actually, he just finished the show. Um, they're getting ready for a super wild card weekend, some of your best bets, some of your storylines. Make sure to download and follow.